Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve absolute value equations um, when dealing like with one step, one step absolute value equations. So, so basically, remember the absolute value is going to be the absolute distance on a number line. I'm just going to do a quick little review for you. Um, remember, if we had a number line like here, 0, you know, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So if I said, what is the absolute value of negative 3? Um, that is equal to 3. And what's the absolute value of 3? That's also equal to 3. The reason why is because if here you're at 0, the absolute distance that you need to travel to get from 0 to 3 is 1, 2, 3 units. Again, the absolute distance you need to go from negative 3 is 1, 2, 3. So either way, you're moving 3 spaces, even though negative is just in the negative direction. So absolute value is de dealing with distance. Always think of distance. Distance is never negative. Direction can be positive or negative, but distance is never going to be negative. So what I want you to understand is when we're dealing with this, the positive or the negative, um, the absolute value of a number can basically have um, a positive, or you could take the absolute value of a negative number or a positive number and still arrive at the same answer. So there's basically two solutions, um, more likely going to be two solutions to an absolute value in quoting. And we'll get into when we have extraneous solutions and so forth. But for instance, here, whenever you have an absolute value, basically what we're going to do is we're going to test for the positive or the negative. Just like I said, absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Absolute value of positive 3 is 3. There's two of them. Negative 3 and 3 both give you the absolute value of that both give you an answer of 3. So if I say the absolute value of a number is equal to 9, there's two possibilities. So we've got to make sure we test both of them. So to do that, what we're going to do is we basically take the positive and the negative. So we say x is equal to 9. So you basically rewrite the equation without the absolute value symbols, and you write it with. Then you also then you take it and you uh, make the other side, uh, ne you negate the other side, make it negative. Now let's see if does this work. You can plug them back in. If x is equal to 9, the absolute value of 9 is 9. Absolute value of negative 9 is, absolute value of negative 9 is, Still 9. So those are your two solutions. So you're going to create a positive and a negative. And we'll, we'll get to that in these two values as well. But then we also come up to, well, what happens if you have the absolute value of y is equal to negative 5? Now, let's just go and even think about this. Let's, let's break it apart. y is equal to negative 5. And y is equal to positive 5, or just 5. Now, if you go and check your solutions with this, the absolute value of negative 5 is equal to positive 5. It's not equal to negative 5. The absolute value of 5, if you plug 5 in for y, the absolute value of 5 is 5. Right? Remember I showed you over here. Rewind if you need to. Absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Absolute value of positive 3 is 3. When you take the absolute value of a number, you cannot get a negative number. So if you have the absolute value, it's isolated. Absolute value is equal, and it's equal to a negative number you have no solution. Simple as that, OK? Um, and we'll get into more difficult ones here in a second uh, or in another video. So basically, so what do you do now when you have some operations? Because these are kind of basic, right? I didn't even have to do any math. I just had to separate it. And here, I just had to notice that it was no solution. So what is the process? So basically, the process, again, is going to create two solutions. You're going to want to create the solution where your solution is positive, or what you're plugging in the absolute value is positive, as well as the solution where you're going to plug in where it's positive inside the absolute value, as well as when it's going to be negative. So again, to do that, to solve for those positive and negative values, you're going to set, it, set up an equation just how it reads without the absolute values, as well as the exact same equation, but now negating the other side. Now you just go ahead and solve. So you use your inverse operations. And what you obtain here is x is equal to 9. And then over here, x plus 5, x plus 5, x is equal to positive 1. Okay. Now, it's very important with absolute value, it is possible to have solutions. We know that no solution is pretty obvious to see. It's when absolute value is equal to a negative number. That's no solution. However, what we'll get into later is noticing that not always do both the solutions work. So it is always helpful just to kind of go back, make sure you did your math right, plug it in. Plug your solution in. 9 minus 5 is 4. Absolute value 4 is 4. Plug in 1. 1 minus negative 5 is negative 4. Absolute value of negative 4 is 4. Both solutions work. So now we go over to this one. And again, just create your two solutions. You don't even have to do any math through this part. Just rewrite them. 
you can at least get used to that. Um, that can be very, very you know, helpful as far as you just getting used to setting up your two equations. So you have the positive version and the negative version. So now, basically what we're going to do is, then again, just solve using your inverse operations. So we subtract a 6 on both sides, subtract a 6 on both sides. Now I have negative y is equal to uh, 6 divided by negative 1, divided by negative 1. y is equal to negative 6. Here, I'm going to subtract a 6 on both sides. And I have negative y equals negative 18 divided by negative 1, divided by negative 1. y is equal to a positive 18. And again, go ahead and plug your answers back in there um, and make sure that they're going to work. And when you do that, you see that the answers, both the answers work. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve uh, one step absolute value, one step absolute value equations. Thanks. Hello.